guys. I was trying to do a live, but it wouldn't let me up. Hit the donate button on for Little Miss Andy. And if anybody deserves it, this girl does. She was put through the ringer by her previous owner. Um, her owner, let's just say, didn't make good life choices. And when she came to us, um, Andy came with, um, you can see that scar there. When she came in to rescue, she had that raw bite mark, human bite mark on her. She also has under her neck here, I'll show her that for us a little bit. She's pretty tired. We've all had a long day. She's got a real deep wound right there and several deep wounds. Um, when I first got her, I thought she had been attacked by an animal. I could have gotten her by the neck. Um, but we're not sure what all was done to her. We just know it was really pretty gruesome. And she is just the sweetest baby. She's normally very peppy. She's very tired right now. But it's been a long day. I was waiting for the house to settle down so you guys could hear me. Um, but she came in and to rescue and within 36 hours she had her puppies but because of um, probably because of blood loss she was not able to nurse her puppies they will nurse but there's not really getting any milk they are being bottle fed several times a day but she enjoys having them close to her and having them cuddle with her. She's a very good mommy. And she protects them very well. Don't you, Andy? Andy. Hey, baby, are you so tired? Are you too tired? You're too tired for our video. Hmm. We've got four little girls and a little boy here. And we also had to take the little boy. Is this her little guy? No, you can see this little guy back here. I can't tell him apart yet. Yeah, he had to go in. Um, he had a collapsed um, rectum. And prolapsed rectum, excuse me. Prolapsed rectum. So he had to go into the ER vet over the weekend. He's got a little stitch in there now. It's kind of a mess, but... He's doing much better. He's able to go to the bathroom on his own now. And he's doing much, much better. They're so cute. The sweetest little babies. I'm so grateful to whomever it was that got her out of that situation and got her into rescue. She doesn't deserve what happened to her. Um, and I just can't imagine if these puppies were in that person's hands. So thank you to whoever you are who got her out. Um, we love her to pieces. She is the best mama. She goes outside and potties great every time it's time to go. No messes in her kennel. But one of the things we need for her her original foster learned after multiple tries that the only thing she really eats well is Caesar dog food. And we don't have any of that. So that is something that would be helpful to have for Andy. I don't know if it's because of her throat, if there's pain there, or if it's just that she's a diva. And maybe she only had people food at her other house. It's maybe a texture thing. We don't know why, but she doesn't eat well um, unless she has that Caesar dog food. We've tried, you know, mushing up really well what we have, and it's just, it's just not doing a good job of getting the calories in that she needs. So if you would be interested.
question of donating for her, that's what we would spend money on, is to pay the bill for her little boy that had to go in for his prolapsed rectum and also to get some Caesar puppy food, or excuse me, puppy, Caesar food for her so that she can eat more comfortably or eat better for her babies. So you think I'm gonna feed you again already? We just ate, buddy. We just ate, yeah. They're really starting to get mobile. She's so cute, I love their little ears. They're, be they're the best. Little daddy ears. Oh, they're so tired. Are you annoyed by me? Are you annoyed, Andy? Hi, sweet baby. Hello. Yes, you're such a good baby. If you see all the little whiskers she has around her nose, they all have that too. Reminds me of little seals. When they eat, they get these milk mustaches that are so cute. I wonder if I can get in here and see any of them. They're so adorable. But they just love being with her, even if they're not getting milk from her. Her little beaner. Are you worried about what I'm up to? Mm. Let me get the heck out of here and let you go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> to get. We've also started trying just a little bit of baby food, um, rice powdered food, and formula. So they're all kind of like. Like paper mache, it's like paper mache, um, all over everything. And then when they eat, they make a mess when they're swimming. That, that was the spin cycle right there. Yeah, you just spin cycled that baby. So she's really been having to work hard to clean up the messes I've made for her feeding them all kinds of crazy things. so tired. Well, we're all gonna go get a few hours of sleep before it's time to get back up and feed babies again. We do still have um, Cassie's puppies over there. They're giant. They're half the size of Cassie now. They're three weeks old. There's a brown one, there's a white one. There's two white ones that are pretty fuzzy. They're nice and soft. And then the gray one is already reserved. That's Borealis. And the little brown one is not her real name, but we call her Krabby Patty because her face looks angry all the time. She's got to grow into her nose. It's all wrinkled up. This is our Andy. She's like I mentioned earlier, she's got the scars on her bottom and on her neck that are still healing. And then there's other past scars on her other side that we just aren't sure quite what all was done to her, but we do know it was not kind. And in spite of all of that, she is the sweetest baby.
and has the most adorable puppies. So we are raising funds to pay for her little boy's prolapsed rectum that had to go to the ER vet, and also the Caesar food that is the only thing she likes to eat. So if she wants to be a diva after what she went through, we would like to let her be a diva because we need to get some good food into her. Make her sure she's eating well. Right now she doesn't like what we have. Good night. And I'll talk to you next time.